All right, so let's actually take a little bit of a step away from Python code theory, and let's do something that's a little bit more fun, perhaps. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn to do some basic drawing with Python. So I've launched the Python shell. Now we could do this in a separate py file, but I'm just going to do it right in shell just so we can go over everything quickly. As you see me write code throughout this course, after you watch a video, after you've taken the notes and so on, I really, really strongly suggest you should try out the code yourself, start typing out code. It's very important you type out code so that uh, it will help you to learn much more quickly. So I typed out a new command here we haven't seen before, something called import. And you know you have a reserved word or a special word in Python when you see that the Python IDE, the Python shell, highlights it in orange. That's a good sign that that's a special word. Anyway, so the import command is basically telling Python to import a package of code. You see, Python, like so many other programming languages, they have all kinds of packages of code. Think of package of code like libraries of code. So Python has this huge library of code with all kinds of packages, and these packages do different things. So this basic package here is called Turtle, and Turtle is a basic drawing package in Python. So it allows you to do simple things. It allows you to draw. There's different packages to do this in Python, but this is an easy one, so we're just going to use this for now. So I type in import turtle, hit enter. So now it's imported. So Python behind the scenes, the Python shell, has now imported this package of code into our current shell that we're running here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like ordering food from a restaurant. Now it's on the table and it's ready to eat. So let's... Uh, try something else now. So what we want to do is we want to use some built-in functions that are built into the turtle package. So this package of code called turtle, think of a bag of code, it has a bunch of functions. Remember functions? We use them. We use the, uh, the str function. We use the int function before. And of course, we've been using the print function all day since the beginning. Now, you know code is a function in Python when you have the name of a function and then you get the two round brackets. I call these round brackets myself. So that's that's a sure sign. That's a function. So first thing we have to do is we have to activate something. So we're going to type in tut, short for turtle, and we're going to go turtle.pen, boom. So what's going on here? We're creating a variable called tut. Remember a variable is a, is a container that holds information. Some nerds will call it a reference or a handle, like a handle in a frying pan. So we're creating a handle to get a handle of this pen inside of Turtle. We're going to go more into details about all this code as we go through the course, but we're just going to have some fun here and we're going to draw. Tut equals turtle.pen. Notice I got a capital P, very important. So uh, we just hit enter and boom, Python launches this window. So let me just minimize this here. So the Windows launch is at Python Turtle Graphics. So that's what this code just did. So we launched a window. You see the little arrow here? That's what Python calls a turtle. I don't know why they call it a turtle. That's what they call it. It's an arrow. But now we can control this turtle using this variable. So we go tut dot forward, and we'll say, I don't know, 200 pixels. So hit enter. Notice the arrow. Look, 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 the arrow moves. So then we could say tut dot tut dot left and we're going to move 45 degrees to the left watch the arrow turn Doop. and now we're going to say tut dot forward again i'm going to say 150 pixels and now let's try again we go tut dot left again how much again we'll say 45 see the arrow turn again so let's go tut dot forward I'm going to say 240, 340 pixels. Boom. Oh, off the screen. So now let's turn this guy around. Tut dot left. And let's turn him 180 degrees. It's off screen, but don't worry. We're going to move him forward again. Tut dot forward. We're going to move him 340 degrees. Oh, that was silly of me. Now he's back online. So let's uh, 
tot dot uh, tut dot write. Oh, you're not gonna see that. The IDE is guessing what we might want to type. That's a that's a a functionality of integrated development environments is that they'll give you code hinting here. It's trying to guess what we want. Some are better than others. This one is actually not too good, but it still works. So tut dot uh, right. And see, it highlights right there. So we just hit enter. Oh, I got to give it a value. Excuse me. Tot dot right. And we say turn right 90 degrees. There we go. Now we're going to go tut dot forward. 240, whatever, 234. So there you go. So you can see, you can go on and on and on. And we're going to learn to animate all this. So you see Python's turtle module, module being a package of code, we've imported it into our Python shell using the import command. And then we created a variable so that we can access the pen inside of turtle, inside of the turtle package. Remember, the package turtle is like a library of code that you can access. And this library of code allows you to draw on screen. And we've done all kinds of things, right? We've moved it forward, left, right, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's much more to it than that. But let's stop here because we've learned a few things. So I would suggest you uh, break out your Python shell and you start uh, drawing on screen a little bit.